Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Uh, let's work on the problems 19 in chapter 4. This one looks a little bit difficult, but we can draw a picture, see what happens. And as you can see, it tells us there is an elevator. The first part, the acceleration is up, so the elevator just speed up. And when it reaches the velocity 9 meters per second, it just keeps a constant velocity to at one point at zero, and then it slows down with acceleration negative 1.2 meter per second. It slows down, slows down, finally keeps stationary. Right, this is the whole process. So speeding up and the constant velocity slows down. And in this one, we need to, first one, ask you determine the time taking for each uh, stages. So time taking for each stages, it's simple. First thing we can say for the act, uh, speeding up for the stage one, we know initial velocity, we know the final velocity, we know acceleration. It's easy for us to get the time t, do a great at zero. And then when we get the time t, we can also get the displacement at this part and use our favorite equation. The sec the, then we look at the final stages, the slowdown. In this one, we know the velocity changes 9.0 meter per second changes to 0 meter per second. Acceleration is given. So it's very easy for us to get the time taking and displacement in the final stages. In this one, you can see we get this two time taking. Now we need to look at the constant velocity, this part. And this part, it tells us the total displacement is uh, the total displacement is 180, and we just minus this part displacement, and this part is displacement. We get the displacement at this constant velocity. And then because the velocity is constant, we can get its time. Use this displacement for constant, and divide by the velocity, and then we get the time taking. In this way, we find the velocity at each stage. Do you agree? Yes, it's not difficult. The second one asks you to find the magnitude of the normal force expressed as a percentage of the normal weight during each stage. So in this one, you can see we consider the normal force, so we do force analysis. So first one is the gravity. We know the gravity pointing down mg on this scale, and also the normal force, Ft, do you agree? And we apply Newton's second law. After we apply Newton's second law, the net force equals mass times acceleration. So Ft minus mg equals ma mass times acceleration. You can see at each stage, at this stage, acceleration is positive. At this stage, acceleration is negative. At this stage, acceleration is zero. So it's easy for us to find Ft. Do you agree? Yes. So in this one, we can see uh, we, we know the F1 minus mg equal to ma, and in this one, um, we can get the the change of the F1, because this time it is mg plus ma, in the normal time it is uh, mg, so the change of the F1 is just the mass times acceleration, do you agree? So mass times acceleration divided by mg, so the m can be cancelled, so we get the a divided by g. In this one, the a is given by the problems. And it's a speeding up, it is 1.2. And then divided by 9.8, we get the final answer. In the constant velocity stages, we see the acceleration is zero. So make it a zero percentage. And then in the deceleration part, the acceleration is negative. We get the negative final answer. The next one asks you, let's see. The fraction of total transport time that the normal force not equal to person's weight. So we can see the total force not equal to person's weight is at the speeding stage and the slow deceleration stage. So acceleration stage and deceleration stage. So this two time, add them up, divided by the total time is a percentage, right? So is this one. This one is our final answer. Thank you.